Alright, so I'm going to start by doing uh, input mappings. Um, the project settings input have already been deleted. I've trash canned both the action and the axis uh, mappings. Uh, we're going to open our content drawer. We're going to right click new folder. Uh, call this uh, input mappings. Open that. Input input mapping context call this IMC default we're gonna save make a folder call this actions really actions this look and move open our anime base character went ahead and disconnected all of these we do need to open the event graph though and we want to custom event initialize input and here I want to get controller want to cast to player controller Input local player subsystem. <coughs> and uh, sorry. Check is valid. And then add mapping context. I want this to be our IMC default. That way it activates our input. Close that. Then to pull off here and it initialize input save. Go back to our player input graph. We're going to open our movement input. We're gonna copy these four back out. Oops. Paste. Plugins. No content. Input mappings. All right. Input. Input action. I A underscore. This is gonna be our move. We'll open this. Change it to a vector two D. Save. Then go ahead and duplicate that I underscore look also vector two D I move and I A underscore look. both of those <laughs> yeah no delete that as well this is what we need these guys 
We're going to split this action value. Want this to be shown x to x, y to y. We do want this to be shown as well. Slide this guy over. Slide that guy down. our movement. We haven't set the actual keys up yet, but we will. And then this is yaw. This is pitch. We're going to take our pitch to the back side. try to use this now, nothing would happen. Mouse and keyboard don't work. Alright. So, our look. Yes, we did 2D vector. Cool. IMC, add. We're going to add our look. Add, add our move. Save look is gonna be oops mouse x y two d axis move we're gonna do w do oops s a d and on some of these we do have to change some things. On our look, we'll have to change our negate to uh, Y. And then on our WSAD, we'll have to change uh, our axis and change negate. So this is what it looks like if you don't do any of that. Okay. Uh, I'm pulling downwards on the mouse and it goes up, so it's inverted. As far as left and right, that works fine, but... Uh, inversion is for some reason in Unreal um, Y up is negative um, I don't know, it's weird uh, if you use W you're going right S you're going right D you're going right A you're going right because it's a positive value buttons being pressed boom, one happens so what we need to do is we need to change the modifier to a swizzle input. So we're going to go from a one right to a one forward. We're going to do the same thing on our S, but we're going to negate as well. Boop. Uh, we're going to negate on our A, which is left, because it's a negative value. Save. We are going to open this up, modify, we're going to negate. And we're going to negate only the Y axis. So now, 
we press play. We press W. We press S. We press A. We press D. We move the mouse left. Move the mouse right. Move the mouse up. Move the mouse down. Boom. That's your basic movement and look. Super simple. Now, let's add gamepad. So, gamepad look is usually the right thumbstick 2D axis. Movement is the left thumbstick 2D axis. We're going to have to open these up. Add a modifier. Call these both dead zone. Um, primarily because some controllers can take a, uh, you know, a, a, I guess a, what you'd say a, a dead zone. If it's if it's off slightly, your your player will be constantly looking left or right or whatever, just due to the stick and how. Uh, how bad it quite possibly is on the dead zone. If there, if it's a well-broken controller, it can be, um, it can be, it can be really shitty to play. <laughs> so the dead zone just allows a dead zone of movement. Um, on the movement one, we're gonna also add um, a scalar movement. And we're going to do 50, 50, and then 1. That, uh, it's not going to change your gameplay type. But let me turn on my controller right quick. Alright, and press play. Oh yeah, click the screen. Okay, so this is the left thumbstick. My left thumbstick. That's forward. That's down. That's left. That's right. As far as my right thumbstick. Right thumbstick is great. What do we do wrong? My thumbstick. Ah, uh, uh, I think I do want to leave those as one. Yeah. So let's go back in and <laughs> see. Oops. Forward, back, left, right. Yeah. Leave those as one. Uh, changing that definitely throws it off. Must have been another project I had them uh, adjusted, but all right. So next up on the agenda is the jump. So we're gonna go into our actions folder this time. Input action I A jump. Go ahead and call it in here. And our IMC, we're going to call it in here as well. Uh, I jump. I just grab my controller too, so I can. I just put it back. So keyboard is going to be spacebar. We're going to add gamepad face button bottom, which is the A button to jump as well. None of these have to be modified. Go back here. Take the old one out. So this is what people would normally think. You put triggered and you put completed. And you start it up. Okay, so. You press and hold space, but he keeps doing this uh, jump. You press it once, cool, but if you press and hold, I'm not a fan of that. So I'm going to put that on just started. 
so if you go back and you press and hold space, he only does the one jump. Press and hold. Much better. Do our stance. Open this. Actually, we could just duplicate. IA stance. IA stance. Delete that one and go ahead and I add it into here. Stance. Uh, stance on the regular LS was was it uh, left alt. So this is crouching. Make that be B on the controller. No modifiers required. Go back into player. triggered is it's gonna be called every tick right yeah and we don't want that we want it to be just triggered once we push it so yeah started one so if you go in and you test it was it left alt yeah there you go just tap double tap Double tap. Double tap. Alright. Walk action and sprint. Like I said, we could just duplicate. I walk. Duplicate. I a sprint. Add walk add sprint walk what was the buttons for uh, walk and sprints left shift left shift was that walk was left control what is it in uh, on the controller that's one thing I don't remember uh, pull up original ALS right quick. Not plugins. Project settings. Input. Action mapping. Walk was right shoulder. Okay, so at that. Walk. Right shoulder. Sprint is the left thumbstick is a button and save Ouch. okay we just added them to that so we're gonna do I walk I sprint copy sprint put it down here too triggered because we want it to be held down <coughs> now with these you only pick one and uh, connect it so I'm going to show you what it's like with the top one being connected and then I'll show you the how it is with the bottom one being connected so our default gate is walking if you press the shift, press and hold shift, you're going to full blown sprint. If you don't, it goes back into uh, 
running. Uh, the character is supposed to technically be uh, default running. That's how he normally is. I changed it to walking because I prefer walking. And I don't prefer this gate uh, option. So, normally it'd be like that. You press and hold sprint, you would sprint, you release, you go back to uh, running, and then if you press the walking button, he would go into a walking mode. I don't like that one, so I'm going to disconnect all those. But for future, I guess I'll just do that, that, and that. Uh, we'll keep it that way, and we'll do it this way. Bop, bop, bop. Uh, I'm going to hold on to that and that. So, boom. I like gate option number two out of the two at least. Start with walk as your default. Press and hold. Actually, it's supposed to be started, not triggered. My bad. I forgot that there was a sprint held and a multi tap button here. Uh, macro there. So, that. Press it and hold it, double tap it, release, nice. You do have to make sure that these all go to the desired gate uh, replicator up here, because if not and you're in client or listen server mode, it won't work properly and it'll have uh, real bad jitters. I'll show you what it looks like, it's just so you feel rest assured. All right. That's what it looks like. And then you double tap, and nothing happens, and it's just shitty. So hook these guys back up. Rotation mode. Here's one that I don't like <laughs> as well. IA. Rotation. Oops. Rotation. I rotation. <laughs> All right, this. I'm gonna delete those. Hold. So here's what I like about this one. Um, but we need to also add it in here. I rotation. Rotation, I'm going to make caps lock. I'm not going to follow ALS as a normal thing because there's only a rotation mode 1, rotation mode 2, and that's 1 and 2 on the number numbers. I, I don't want that. So uh, as far as the game controller goes, I'm going to make that be up on the D-pad. Save and go back. All right, so walking mode looking mode that's all based on player facing if I press and hold caps lock it allows me to view the whole character and if I let go he'll go back into facing mode nice as far as aim action I aim I aim go ahead and add it aim aim is right mouse and left trigger axis 2d or oops gamepad Left trigger, yeah, left trigger axis. Just to make sure. Not 2D. <laughs> so, trigger, hold, and complete. Just to show it works. And release. Hold and release. Hold and release got camera action I camera I camera and add 
this camera camera action is C and right thumbstick button no no oh yeah right thumbstick button All right, save. Get out of here. This is a pressing. Press and complete. Right. Let's see. Uh, we're doing camera, so let's see. Left, right, left, right. Hold. First person. Hold. First person. All right, cool. Ragdoll. Input I rag doll. Plus rag doll. Plus rag doll was uh, was a Z or X? Z? Oh, it's X. And gamepad special left. I believe that's, yeah, that's the select button. Or whatever button they call it now. I don't know. Back is what they used to call it. I don't know what it is now. And save and IA underscore ragdoll. Throw that underneath the press. And it's going to alternate, obviously, by its own thing. Alright, and now you're going to see these uh, input access references unknown. These are caused by this, which you're not going to be using player movement input, but if you break this, boop, compile, you have this still broken, which is get player movement input. If you break, if you break these, um, actually here I'll show you. They probably s still won't work even without them broken because it's not calling a get movement forward and backward. Your mantle doesn't work. See that? Mantle does not work. So you're gonna get rid of these. Uh, move forward, move right. The good thing about the uh, IMC is we can call it it's IA. Remember, this is movement. And we're going to split this. Our right vector is your X. Forward vector is your Y. Boom, that fixed that error. We're going to go back. Run to this wall right quick. And lo and behold, mantle works mantle check um, actually calls on this get player movement input there's probably some other ones that do too but that's the one I noticed oh, no just mantle check cool close that close that close well I guess you could technically leave that but It's going to not do anything. Uh, split. This is your X in. This is your Y. Delete these. Compile save. And play. All these work. The uh, next episode of this, I'm going to fix these stupid moving objects because they are not uh, replicated. And I know they can be pretty neat because you can launch yourself off of them. And if you can launch yourself off of them with a buddy, be even better. So the next episode, I'm going to replicate these moving blocks. Uh, 
just because I feel like the project's a replication project. They should have been done from the beginning. But uh, I appreciate you watching, and leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.